Hey, this is Mike with FRC Top 25, and first updates now, we're here with 254, the Cheesy Poofs. Um, Wes, I'm gonna start with you. Um, I'm just kinda gonna hand the mic off. You're kinda gonna walk us through um, your systems check that you go through with your robot. Sure. So Sumi here is gonna control the robot. Uh, this is our intake position for disc. We have presets on the elevator for every position. Our disc intake is using uh, four, three inch flex wheels and they grab the disc. This is going to our max robot height, level three. Okay. Okay. This is us coming back down uh, to where we would score. Next we're gonna switch over to ball intake. Our ball intake is using a single top roller to intake the ball and we also have these side rollers to center and also help shoot the ball. It's going to middle rocket height. Uh, also in middle rocket height, that's exhausting. This is our turret, so we can demonstrate our turret. We're using field-oriented controls on our turret, and so even if the dry base is in a certain position, we'll always be in relative, we have cardinals. Um, we really like to use our, our turret. We can push out another team that are playing defense and then score into the rocket. Um, you can see we're using a bidirectional energy chain to route all the cables to the robot. Shoulder. Uh, and then we can, uh, what else do you want to, we can demonstrate vision. Brandon, do you want to get the vision target out? Okay, and so we're using two limelights uh, for vision. We have uh, a vision target right here, we're gonna track. And so our driver can auto aim using the vision target. And uh, we have two of them just so that when the carriage is blocking one of them, the other one will still see. We also have a thrust capability, so we re can reach out of a robot. The elevator and arm will move simultaneously. So can you demonstrate thrust? And so elevator and arm moving simultaneously allows us to reach outside and we can reach past, uh, we can reach past any defenders um, and score much more easily. Great, thank you so much, Weston. And so, um, Brandon, I'm gonna hand it off to you a little bit. I think you're gonna talk about your intake a little bit. Yeah. So we went through a multiple, a multitude of uh, iterations during the season. This is our seventh iteration as we've gone through. Um, in the previous tournaments, we used to have a bar that used to extend downwards. So we used the bottom roller of the intake to get us onto the third platform. And being that we use the suction cup climber now, we don't need to do that. So we got rid of the bottom roller because we did, thought it would be extra weight. And we extended this arm so we could extend it out further. Well, and then lastly, so we're gonna talk about some software, right? So the goal of the software in terms of teleop code is really to assist the drivers and make their lives a whole lot easier. So how we've done that is with uh, two limelights on the turret, we're able to auto aim towards the target as we demonstrated before. And what that allows is that we, no matter where we are, our drive base is, and if we're playing defense, we can just drive around and we can still score um, because our turret is still locked onto the target. And the other part of um, auto scoring is that we, as um, Weston explained, we have the um, ability to score over other target, or other teams playing defense of that, which we uh, actually did during one of our qualification matches. And that way we can uh, use our wrist and arm and elevator as a linear thruster to um, go over another robot and score into that um, goal. And our, our final usage of the limelights is that we're able to auto steer towards a wall pickup. And how that works is that uh, we look at the error in where our robot is in relation to the vision targets and we're able to auto steer and correct our drive base so that we always are perfectly able to intake onto the disc. Well guys, this has been awesome and super informative. Thank you so much for taking the time um, to kind of dive into your robot. So again, 254, the Cheesy Poofs, two regional wins this year. Currently ranked number one, going into alliance selections tomorrow here in the Turing division. I uh, look forward to seeing what, what happens the rest of the way. Thanks guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.